what were you doing when you found out you were nominated? When I found out I was nominated, I was sitting on the couch watching one of my uh, shows that I like to watch, which I won't name. But uh, the best part was when the phone rang, it kept ringing, and I forgot that it was announced that day on the television because uh, I, I had watched my show. And it came on, they're like, I, go watch the Grammys. Did you see it? I said, no, I didn't see it, but go online and look. Rex Rideout called me, one of my producers, who I worked predominantly most of the album with on Lost and Found. He said, congratulations, are you looking at it? I'm like, I'm nominated? He's like, yeah, aren't you excited? I, I was so excited, because like I told you, the climb to change was incredible for me. So to have that, amazing. Was the show uh, Jersey Shore? Huh? Was the show Jersey Shore? Ah, how do you know? Because usually when people say I was watching something that I They don't want to tell. tell. You, you know. <laughs> uh, yes, that's what. OK, don't tell everybody, OK? Who was the first person you told? The first person I told was my mother. Yep, and she started screaming. And I said, can I call you back? I need to call more people. <laughs> I had to call her, so that was good. You know, another big thing that happened this year was Michelle Obama saying that she had my music in her iPod. That blew my mind. It's in People Magazine. I went, huh? <laughs> so that was just as exciting as all of this. Well, yes. What was more like, you know, what would you get more excited about? The Grammys? Or no, the, it was or the, the same feeling. The first lady of the United it States. It was the same <laughs> feeling. I just, but except I was, I didn't say anything. I didn't call anyone. I just looked at it like, you know, speechless. I'm sorry, that's off the Grammy thing, but. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they'll have you to the White House. I, I hope. You know. Hello. Yeah. And that's our first lady, you know, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Were you surprised with the Grammy nominations? Was I surprised? Yes, very, very surprised. I wasn't expecting. I don't, you know, I live my life expecting the unexpected. I don't expect things to happen. I just move through it. And that's how I live my life. Who's your date for the Grammys? Who's my date? Now, you know not to ask all that. That's personal. No, I'm going to have a lot of friends with me, probably my two producers and my manager. Yeah. Does being nominated change you at all, both as an artist or a person? Or? Being nominated hasn't changed me at all. If anything, I've changed my hair style, put on more makeup, <laughs> and and but I'm still in on the inside of me. I'm still the same person that started in this business. Much smarter, more confident, but not like a dramatic. I'm a Grammy nominated star. You know, none of that stuff. Mm -mm. Okay, here's here's one that might make you squirm a little. Bit. Okay, uh oh. W why do you deserve to win? Oh! <laughs> Yes, it does make me squirm. You see my feet, I'm like, oh, I deserve to win because like any artist, they just want to win. They work hard. If you work hard, I'm told you will be rewarded. And I had a lot of rewards, just my shows being sold out, people buying my records and, and requesting my songs on the radio, and then to nominate me, my peers. That's an award, but to get the ultimate award, I want to know what that feels like. I really do. After the fourth nomination, I, I really want to know. Who would you like to see host the Grammys? Who would I like to see host the Grammys? If you could pick anyone you wanted to host the Grammys. Conan O'Brien and Jay Leno together. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's going to be on online, sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting, though? Can you imagine? That would be really interesting. Ooh, see? <laughs> see? Who else thought of that? Uh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> Any standout misses in this year's nominees? I mean, anyone that you were like... You know, I like Diane Birch. I really did like her, uh, the, what is it, the Bible Belt? It was, that's what it's called? I love that album. I, 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 I voted for it. I was hoping. What uh, category would you like to see added to the Grammys? What could, category? If you could add a category. If I could add one? Oh, wow, that's a good question. If I could add a category to the Grammys, it would be, oh, wow. Uh, soul rock? Do we have that? I don't think we have a soul rock. Yeah, who, who, maybe a soul rock. Who, who would be in the soul rock? Well, Prince, he's already in R&B, but I would add him again. Maybe uh, bring back Fish, if they could bring back Fish, yeah. And Lenny Kravitz, again, put him in there, too. Uh, favorite Grammy moments from years past? Michael Jackson, uh, winning all the awards and performing with the glove. 
that was amazing. That's when I, I, I started to dream and wanting my dream to be manifested, to get where I saw Michael and Quincy hugging each other. I want that.